to separate the North Charleston schools from the Charleston County School District is still alive at the State House and they could talk about it next session. Melissa Rademacher in North Charleston for us now. We are Melissa. You talked to the local state representative about what's next now that school is right around the corner. Roth and North Charleston State Representative Marvin Pendarvis says that, that bill is sitting in the inbox of a committee and they could make some advancements on it in the coming session. But in the meantime, he says he's hoping to have productive conversations between city leaders and school district leaders, especially the new superintendent, so they can maybe get to the root of the problems that led to the bill, which were concerns over unequal funding. That was at its core. The North Charleston leaders announced their interest in creating their own school district over concerns of historic unequal funding in the spring. The district responded with their own facts and figures showing that as of last year, North Charleston's percent of the budget matches its student percentage makeup of the overall district. Since then, a new superintendent, Dr. Eric Gallion, has taken over as head of the schools. Pendarvis says he and other people in North Charleston he's talked to are looking forward to working with the new leadership, and he says he wants to treat this school year as a fresh start to solving any educational gap concerns. The bill is alive as any bill that's been filed. And until we adjourn next spring um, in May and, and no action has been taken, then the bill is still alive and there's still an opportunity for the bill to move forward. But what I would tell people, um, just speaking realistically as to some of the things that can happen um, in the short term and up until that point, if and when it comes, we need to ensure that the district is, is, is um, keeping uh, school equity and in funding equity at the top of mind. Penn Darvis says the bill began a conversation that he hopes ends with achieving success and equal funding and opportunities for North Charleston students, however that may be. In North Charleston, Melissa Rademacher, Live 5 News.